And what? Are we going to do it in the kitchen? What kind of man is this Kim Razor huh? cliche? A man who knows the difference between footwork and roadwork. What? Between a snow job and a job well done. Well, let's do it between then. Something that really makes your smell good and something that makes your skin look and feel good. What do we see? Just, hi, Mom. Love you, Mommy. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Now a new sport towel set. Oh, yeah. Shall we? Okay. for a year. Come on then. Get up. If you're on coke, everything you work for is disappearing. Hi, Mom. No, not yet. <laughs> Chad. Chad, don't destroy the place. We now continue with Mr. Belvedere. Suffice it to say, it's been an eventful week here with the Owens clan. George has Wesley's respect back. Wesley got his grade back, B minus. <laughs> okay, are you guys going to say something to Mom? Hi, Mom. I love you. Goodbye. Say it again. I love you, Mommy. Show Mom what you, you got for her. Forget the camera. <laughs> And keep away from children. See, Ryan, I got you a present. And, and Ryan, too. And Ryan, see? Woo! I love you, Mommy. Bye. Say good night. Good night. Good night. I want my toy! You what? <laughs> a joke, a joke. What a joke. Who do you love the most? Mom and Dad. Please. Who do you love the most? Mom and Dad. Who do you love the most? <laughs> Mom and Dad. <laughs> Who do you love the most? Mom and Dad. <laughs> Who do you love the most? Mom and Dad. What's this? I hear only a mom coming from there. Are you a mom boy? Ouch. Oh. We're hungry here. What kind of dog is this? Oh, that's creepers. Heart Shelby and heart who knows. <laughs> are you guys going to say hi to mom? Or are you hi, gonna... mom! Hi, mom! Love you, mom! Good night, mom! Ooh. Jump! Go back to the door um, and say hi to mom. Hi, mom! Not that hi, door! <laughs> Not that door! Okay, it's bedtime, guys. Mom. Go get your pajamas on and get in bed. Mom. <laughs> after um, after we go to bed, bed, and then you come back. Um, um, if if you got the presents, could you get them get them for us? When we go to bed, wrap them up and then put them in our bag. Uh 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 uh. When mommy, morning, you guys will get it. When mommy get. If mom got you anything. Oh. Who do you want the most? Uh, mom, dark guy. Mom or the or the toys. <laughs> hey, mom. Mm. And Excuse me, but you know your name is Pussy. Oh. <laughs> Go sit down. Go get chat. Both you guys go get your pajamas on. Both of you get your pajamas on now. Ryan.
Drop it! <laughs> Chad, pajamas now. Get moving. I don't care. <laughs> Ryan! <laughs> Come here. Down. Pajamas now. Pajamas now. Pajamas. Right? Right. Chat? Pajamas. Right now. The dish has got to be picked up. Pick them up, please. The dishes on the floor. Pick them up, please. You guys made your lunches tonight. Got your clothes ready. And set your stuff out. You guys are doing real good tonight. Really looks funny, Ryan, with you in the mirror. And your head sticking behind the mirror. Up. Get a close up of him crying. There he is. Right here. Yeah. You guys are going to bed. Dogs for Eric. Let's get him the one he wants. All right. 
If you want him, you can have him. Thanks. Scruffly! Everybody! You'll think of him as a starter dog. A few months from now, you'll trade up. <laughs> Did you see that? It looked like he did this to me. Oh, Stuart. Oh, Stuart. <laughs> nice place. I'm gonna like it here. Split level, roomy closets, which is good, so I'll need space for my stuff. I still don't understand. How come I can hear you? What about this? Maybe I'm reincarnated. Ever hear of a president named Jeepers Jackson? No. Then I can't explain it. Hey, let's go paint the town. No, we'll do that later. I want to find out more about you. Ask me anything. A dog has no secrets from his boy. All right. Where'd you get a name like Jeepers? Ah, uh, from the family I live with. Check this out. They thought I acted like a Jeepers. What does that mean? They thought I was hyper. I blame it all on the ice cream they fed me. Pistachio. I don't get it. If you were their dog, what were you doing at the pet store? They returned me. I don't want to talk about it. It's embarrassing and far too personal. <laughs> I couldn't be housebroken. You're not housebroken? There's only a problem when someone I like comes to the door. All right? My turn to ask questions. Ask me anything. A boy has no secrets from his dog. Bad time. What do you do for fun? I build models. I read comics. Bad time. I like to set up rows of dominoes and then knock them over. So basically, you're Bad a Bad time. Oh, it's a hoax. Dominoes are just delivered to your door? Don't get all hot. You know, there's an interesting world the out there. The dog's really I'm funny. I'm going to show it to you sometime. I'd like that. Woo! Wait! Look at her! Yeah, that's Chris. She's beautiful. She lives next door. Mark my word. Someday I'm going to marry that little cutie. I've got big plans for her. <laughs> I'm talking about the girl. You're talking about her dog. I hope. Hey, if you like this girl, why don't you ask her out? Go for it, buddy. I can't talk to girls. I start babbling about school. All you need is the right opening line. We'll figure one on the way over. No! Better put your shoe on! Yeah. Yeah. I bet your house broken. Jeepers. Excuse me. Yo, yo, Eric. In here. I'm waiting. Are you crazy? What are you doing in this house? Their fault for leaving the doggy door unlocked. <laughs> so let's hear that opening line. What you got for me? How about if I say, please don't scream? Not snappy enough. Uh-uh, I don't like it. <laughs> hey, here's some pictures of her. I'm not interested. Look, she's sticking her tongue out at the camera. What a wacky sense of humor. No wonder you're crazy about it. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. You sure the one drooling over her pictures? <laughs> Let's go. At least take one of the pictures. No. Come on. You can practice talking to her until you build up your confidence. You can even buy little gifts. Yeah, it would be nice to have. I could put it in my scrapbook of failed opportunities. There you go. All right, come on. Wait. What? Well, according to my ultra-sensitive hearing, some people just came in. How close are they? Oh, way, way, way on the other side of the house. <laughs> now would be a good time to use that please don't scream line. Just... <laughs> Or bad time. Mark! Yes, this is radical! That was very funny! The, the, the dog said, oh, the people are on the way, way other side, and then the girl just ran into her road. Really far away. Well, sit down and watch. Ryan, sit beside Chow. Sugar. Betty Sit still, I a lot of people that can't even read the word duh. And 
when I sit down and got this sad. One out of four American children drops out before finishing high school. I got to the point where my daughter came along. Then I knew I had to change. Because my daughter get older, she asked me, Daddy, when you was young, what did you do? I said, well, I dropped out of school, but I went back. I got my diploma and everything. I feel good about myself now. That one time I didn't because I wasn't going nowhere. I didn't have nothing. If you need help, call this number for literacy information. At one time I was kind of slow in reading. But now everything is coming, coming in together. And that makes me feel good that I can sit here and I can read this book. Literacy, our future begins with basic skills. A television classic is back. On Sunday, October 23rd, Peter Graves returns to lead the top secret impossible missions force. The all new Mission Impossible. We now continue with Mutz. I bet you're wondering what we're doing here. This girl is really loud. You sure you don't want someone more refined? What's wrong? You're the boy from next door. Say you're Eric's evil twin. Uh, Derek. Hi. Nice to see you again. What are you doing here? Here? Uh, in your house? Good strategy. Turn things around. Question them. Well, let's see. Hey, the truth might work. Tell them your dog ran in here and you chased after him. My dog ran in here. I chased after him. Then what are you doing with my picture? Oh, uh... Sorry, my man. I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> here you go. Uh, Keepers and I have to go now. You want to think about chaining that dog up? Oh, sure. Strong statement from a woman wearing peekaboo underwear. <laughs> all right, all right. <coughs> He's a strange boy. Did you hear what he said? Well, I'll just take you and twist you up like a chew stick. <laughs> it's the first time I ever broke into a house. Second time for me. Also the second time I got caught. Hey. Eric, Mrs. Hayden just called. She said that you and Jeepers were in Chris's room stealing things? It wasn't us. It was Derek and uh, Peepers. <laughs> we weren't stealing things. It was one picture. It's not even why we broke in there. I see. Have I been neglecting you? No. You're having problems, aren't you? Do you want to see my therapist? He helped me. You used to break into people's houses? <laughs> no. He helped me realize my potential in real estate. Plus, when he moved, he let me list his condo. I'll think about it, Mom. Thanks. Okay. It's amazing. He looks at me like he actually understands what I'm saying. Actually, I don't have a clue. <laughs> well, Listen to the show. I do two something. minutes for Mom to find out about this. Two minutes a person. That means by the time summer vacation is over, everyone in school will know what I did. But, uh, maybe that's okay. It's a new school. I'll get there the first day. Everyone will already know who I am. <laughs> I'll say, oh look, there goes Eric, the thief. Hide your photos. <laughs> no. Some girls are attracted to criminals. Of course, those girls usually have that food. They'd be sick. Hmm. Could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you gonna read it? You don't need someone's private thoughts. Sure you do. You read mine. <laughs> Maybe she won't she won't tell anyone about the picture. Or that she likes you. Come on, come on, take a look. I could just look at the last page. Yes. Just to see if she wrote anything today. Yeah, yeah. She probably refers to you as the boy with the great looking dog. <laughs> so, what did she say? What am I doing? Yesterday I was a good kid. Today I'm stealing pictures and reading diaries. Love makes you do funny things. You make me do funny things. Me? Maybe Mom's right. Maybe I should talk to someone. Would you like to talk to me? Mm -hmm. I mean someone who knows right from wrong. Oh. Of course. <laughs> I want to thank you for letting me see you. Not that I can see you, but I know you're there. You are there, aren't you? 
Come in. <laughs> you know, I'm not Catholic. I hope that's okay. My family isn't really religious. Well, my mother prays for real estate deals to close. And my father prays his hair won't fall out. Maybe you should tell him why you're here before the second coming. Let me tell you why I'm here. You see, uh, I read a girl's diary without her knowing it. And I also tried to steal her picture. I know what I did was wrong. I'm just scared the kids at school will find out what I did and laugh at me. Dream. Really? You know, I have those too. Were you being chased by a giant tick wearing a hockey mask? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. I was being laughed at for stealing Chris's picture and reading her diary. Oh. You want me to interpret that dream for you? I know what it means. It means I'll never be able to leave this house again. Hmm. I didn't realize you were this upset. You know, if you think about it, a lot of this is my fault. I thought about it. You're right. I never even wanted a dog. Oh. Well, I got you into this and I'm gonna get you out. Meet me at Chris's house. You might want to comb your hair. No! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Well, I'm a little dizzy. I've been knocking on the door with my head. You knocked? Yeah. I want you to tell Chris that the diary and the picture thing were my ideas. All right. Uh, I'll just tell Chris that my dog talks to me. Come on, let's go. Oh, it's you. Man, this girl's got an attitude. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Hold it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, Eric, I got her attention for you now. Talk. That's my sister's diary. Your sister's? Is it my fault that bedrooms look alike? <laughs> when did you get this? Uh, my dog again. Bad dog. I told you, no more sneaking into houses. More finger action. It's got to look convincing. I'm dying to read this. You don't read someone's private thoughts. Back me up on this, Eric. Listen, don't tell anyone you gave this to me, okay? Uh, sure. But maybe you won't tell anyone about the picture? Okay. Well, bye. Say, wait. Uh, wait. Yeah? Ask if you can walk her to school. Come on, push your luck. She owes you. Uh, you think sometime we could walk to school together? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. It was just one of those questions. I don't know why I asked it. <laughs> well, bye. I mean, I usually walk to school with my friend. But I guess Sunday she's sick, and you and I happen to leave our houses at the same time, and you're not wearing that shirt. So <laughs> I guess I'd be okay. Maybe. Yeah! You're in! Great. See you some morning. Yes, yes, yes. She's gonna let me walk her to school. All right, Eric. No more sitting alone in your room. Come to the cabaret. <laughs> well, see you. Where are you going? Out to the coast. I think I have a cousin there. What are you talking about? I'm leaving. You said you never wanted a dog. By the way, which way is the coast? You can't go. Why not? Uh, because you said there was an interesting world out there and you were going to show it to me. You know, I did say that. You really want me to stay? Yeah. Aww. Oh, how much do you want me to stay? A lot. How much a lot? Show me with your arm. This much. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, I'll stay. I'm glad. Okay, <laughs> I'm glad. You go first. Uh, maybe later. One later. I might be busy. These messages. I like to hear his dog. Charlie's dad is a dentist, so when Charlie gets some teeth, chances are he'll chew great tasting Trident. Because more dentists and their families chew Trident than all other sugarless gums combined. Trident. Millions of teeth can't be wrong. When you have heartburn, you can bet on effective cherry flavored Bromade's antacid. Calcium rich, sodium free, and a winning cherry taste. Cherry flavored Rolades. Tastes like cherry, works like Rolades. <laughs> that should be in your room. Patsy Barber.
top breeder of champion Chesapeake Bay Retrievers. The most important thing is I'd like to do like that. Good sound dog and puppy dogs. If you want to mix them up, you just have to give them the best food. My dogs love pedigree meat. Mixing the pedigree meal time with the pedigree is really excellent for the dogs. It makes them healthy, it makes them happy, gives my dogs everything they need. Look at this guy right here, he's on his rock. Pedigree and pedigree meal time. Recommended by top breeders. Place is a dump, man. You ain't gonna make no money in here. You don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I know that this is rotten. I know that I don't see no people in here. So where's your gold mine? It's down the street, bro. Right? The school. The school? Oh, I see. You're gonna get rich on selling gum to school kids. Not gum, man. This. For ten dollars, the little snot noses can blow their heads off. The little brass are dying to fry their brains. And I'm only too happy to help them. So where do they get the money? Who cares where they get it? As long as they can. It's over, guys. Dead time. Now. Hi, my name's Boo. Now, I'll say. Good night. Good night. 857. Now. I want you to bed now. Goodbye. Good night, mommy. Goodbye. Ryan, good night, say good night. Good night, mom. Dad, I'm going back to the camp. Get in the bed now. Okay. See ya. Don't. See ya. Yeah. Love you, Mom. Good night. Sammy. Get to bed. Get in the bed. Get in the bed. Did you get her? I got her. Say good night to mom. Good night, mom. I love you. And you're my kid.
Good night. Good night. I said good night, Ryan. Put the books away. Good night. Lay down. I'm trying to sort of tip the Good night.